what's going on guys? We're back with another Movie Moments review. Of course, today we have Slyther Petrowski, aka Sidewall Shine number 74 with Pit Stop Barrier. Now this is the last one from the Movie Moments series that I have to review. After this, I will review all of the ones from the series that Mattel has made so far. Now they're supposed to make more in the future, like The King, Chick Hicks, Gaskets, and some others as well, but we have absolutely no idea when they're going to hit stores. And in my opinion, they may not hit stores ever because first of all, this series has only been found grocery stores in the United States. So that's an extremely small distribution. And not even all grocery stores have received them. My local grocery store is a Jewel Osco. Not sure if you guys have heard of it or not, but they haven't received this series. I know Kroger stores have, Heb stores that are located in Texas only have, and some others as well, but that's it. My question is, why not Target? Why not Walmart, where a lot of collectors go looking for cars? I mean, most collectors have access to a Walmart because they're in every state in rural areas as well. These grocery stores, they're not everywhere. My nearest Kroger store was 25 miles from me, and I went there, and they didn't even have them. So I'm a little disappointed in Mattel for this. Plus, for international collectors outside of the USA, they don't have a chance at all. I'm really sorry for you guys if you're outside of the USA because they haven't hit stores anywhere in Europe, Australia, Canada, Asia. I mean, it's really unfortunate. Now, maybe this was Mattel's idea all along, and if that's the case, it was a pretty silly idea, at least in my opinion. Now, let's just get into review and push aside all the negativity around the series because I actually like it and would definitely like it more if it hit more stores. So, I love the art they gave Slider here, and like I've said in all my other Movie Moments reviews, I love the background. It's the Los Angeles International Speedway Pit Row. We have McQueen's team over here, a little bit of chicks over here as well. Of course, we have the name tag right there, and there is no numbering system for this line. On the back, the description for the Movie Moments line is recreate your favorite moments from the exciting Piston Cut race. And now this is an absolutely amazing picture that they chose for the series because you can see the pit stop barriers right there. There's McQueen's, there's Chicks, that looks like Easy Idols, Nitroid, so that is really, really cool. And fortunately, they only show the instructions for the Cars Daredevil Garage app instead of showing other releases in the line. Now I think if they release more, there will be other releases on the back because they don't have the on the package for any of the 2016 releases like as you can see here with warmer flats the logo is not there that yellow logo is no longer on the new releases so that's a good thing for sure now just so you guys know not all movie moments will have pit stop barriers we have Dexter Hoover right here who came with safety cones and some of the others that should be coming out in the line like Marlon Clutch's McKay and Charlie Checker, those aren't racers, so they probably won't have pit stop barriers. Maybe cones again, or maybe something else. So I'll be right back with this awesome release opened up. Just in case you guys were wondering, I got this guy right here from eBay and I got my second one that I'm going to keep in the package from a great friend of mine who lives in Texas and was able to get one from her local Heb store, which like I said earlier, is only located in Texas. Now, this guy looks great out of the package, but before we get into the review, I wanna go over his appearance in the first Cars movie, his potential appearance in Cars 3, and of course, his previous releases. So, in Cars 1, he didn't get much of a big appearance, but McQueen drove up right to the back of him because there was a camera attached to the back of him. And now, actually, in the movie, those black stripes are not supposed to be there, or on the diecast, are not supposed to be there because in the movie, they're not there. There's a camera there that McQueen looks into, and then he knows it's there, so he makes like a face and everything. But really, this guy was just in the background racing at some times. No prominent appearance where you're like, oh yeah, there's Sai will shine. Nah, not like that. Just a background character. Now in Cars 3, he might appear. There's been no confirmation yet. Some of the Piston Cup racers are returning, and some are not. So he might fall into the not category, but 
Then again, he might appear, which would be cool. Now, if he doesn't, it's not a big deal, at least for me personally. Now, moving on to his previous releases, he was originally released in the Motor Speedway of the Saw set that included all 36 of the Piston Car Racers, but was only available to Redline Club members. In 2009, he was available through a mail-in promo offer, and in 2010, he received three different releases. One in a light your tire launcher, two in a target exclusive nine pack, and three with rubber tires as a part of one of the Kmart collectors events. And that is this release right here. Pretty cool. And then he took four years off and returned for the 2014 Piston Cup series. Number 15 out of 16. And there he is right there. Here's some of the other releases that year. And that was it up until the 2016 Movie Moments release. So now let's dive right into the review of him. He's not one of my favorite Piston Cut Racers, but he's not one of my least favorites either. And I kind of don't like him too much because like I said earlier, he's not accurate to the movie with having these black stripes right there. All right, so let's take a look at Slider's decals. On the hood here, we can see the Sidewall Shine logo, and now I assume this company makes some sort of polish to keep the outside of your tires clean because their logo shows a white wall tire looking pretty clean there. On the side here, we can see the number 74 with some stripes, black, yellow, black, and there are his secondary sponsors, which include Mood Springs, No Stall, Gaskets, Gas Sprint, and many, many others. He has gray rims with black light year tires. And here's actually a different sidewall shine logo because on the hood, the tire separates sidewall and shine. But this one here has sidewall shine coming before the tire. So I find it pretty cool that they changed it up. And now on the roof here, we have black stripes and 74. Now these stripes are accurate to the movie, but the ones on the back here are not, unfortunately. You know, Mattel has pretty much all of the Piston Cop Racers accurate. I feel like this is really the biggest inaccuracy amongst them. Unfortunately, I don't know how it happened, but whatever it did. And there is the Sidewall Shine logo again. Here's the base if you're interested. Of course, this is the new release. And here is the old one. Man, look at how much is on this one compared to that. Wow, how the times have changed. But anyway, now let's talk about his pit stop barrier. Now, I really, really like these. Now, unfortunately, they are hollow, but you can't really expect much more. Of course, it's plastic. And every time I review one of these, I always ask the question, is this decal painted on? or is it a paper sticker? Now I think it's a sticker, but I think it's a very, very good sticker because I can barely tell. And this one, it looks to be a bit more noticeable because the corners are coming up just a hair. I'm not sure if it will show up on the camera too well, but I can see it, the corners coming up a little bit. So I think it is a sticker, but it's a phenomenal sticker. So great job, Mattel. Now here are the other pit stop barriers. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite i'm going to tell you mine in a second here let me just lay them all out of course we got lightning mcqueen there we got toe cap over here trunk fresh which was the last one i reviewed sidewall shine and a shiny wax so man which one is my favorite hmm i think we can eliminate sidewall shine i'm not a huge fan of this one i just don't really care for it lightning mcqueen nah um, I think we're going to have to eliminate toe cap and that brings it down to these two. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to go with shiny wax because I think the rings on this one just look amazing. I also like trunk fresh because it's nice and simple. You know, it just says trunk fresh and has the little star there. This one's a little bit more complicated with the stripes behind the logo, but all of them are super cool. You know, I like this series. Some collectors don't because, you know, Mattel is enticing you to buy the car that you already have again to get these pit stop barriers, but I don't mind. The racers are a variant, so that's another reason why I don't mind buying them. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you'd like to see my video on Team Sidewall Shine, you can check out the description below for a link or a card suggestion will pop up in the top right hand corner so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys next time for another video relatively soon it'll probably be this week 
maybe a car stream video on the sneak peek that comes out tomorrow. That will be awesome by the way. A lot of people ask me to record it. I don't know if I'll do that because I think it will be uploaded to YouTube at some point or another. So I'll see you guys this week. Hope you enjoyed and bye now.